Good morning folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's well, hope everybody's happy. So today we're looking at the top five power tools for your typical DIYer stroke handyman. Now, um, at the top of the list, without doubt, we're looking at a combination drill, which is the one on the right hand side here. Now, the combination drill is probably, well, without doubt, to my mind, the most important. Um, because it's the most versatile use and it has um, it can achieve more things than any other tool to my mind so for example it can um, and it will enable us to drill things to screw things into place to loosen to tighten um, we can use it to make holes to fix and repair stuff now they also come with um, cables so you can plug them into the mains or else they typically come with battery packs but um, as you can see for the clips which I've included, they're very, very versatile and I've used these for all manner of things. And without doubt, the combination drill, which you can see on the main screen now, um, it's actually in a set, this particular one with an impact driver. Um, it comes with a lovely case. To my mind, this is without doubt the number one power tool for every keen die wire handyman or handy woman. Now, second place, um, once again, there's no doubt in my mind about this, it's got to be your circular saw. Now, the one which is on the picture here on the screen, it's made by Evolution Tools. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. It cost me under 50 quid, and this will typically take the place of your, um, your sort of, you know, your typical hand saw, mitre block. Um, these are very powerful and you can do a number of things with these. Um, you can simply cut timber to size, you can cut mitres, you can cut bevels, um, you can cut up scrap wood. You can just do all manner of things with these and for the amount of money they cost, they are absolutely invaluable. And this is one of the tools which I just wish that I'd have bought many years ago. It would have saved me so much time, so much effort and um, you know I should have invested that money many years ago in the picture here you can see a couple of um, um, clips where I've um, repaired flooring and also uh, basically modified fencing and I've used a jigsaw on both of these occasions but without doubt if I'd have had a circular saw this would have done the job more efficiently and more effectively so much more quicker and neater so yeah without doubt this is number two and my list. In the picture here we can see um, a project I've recently completed. So this is a, um, um, a job which I did for one of my next door neighbours. Um, repairing the side of a carport. I took down lots of old rotten timbers and replaced them with some nice decent quality decking boards which are then stained. So this looks lovely and on the back of this job which I've done for my neighbour I've actually had offers from two other neighbours asking me to replicate that and do exactly the same thing for them. So I've also made um, a couple of nice planters which you can see on the top right hand corner here. So basically if you've got a circular saw you can do pretty much anything. This will enable you practically to build a house um, with a few of the basic tools should the need arise. So now going on to number three on the list. So in third place, now this is quite a hotly contested place, but um, uh, once again, you know, bear in mind, this is my list and the needs um, of other people may be different. Now this is um, an Evolution Compound Mitre Saw, um, absolutely fantastic. You can use it as a basic chop, short, a chop saw, sorry, where you can um, basically just um, cut timber to size. Um, you can use it to cut very, very accurate mitres and bevels and timber. Now this item is um, very compact and it's very lightweight. So basically it can easily be stored in a, in a small place. You can stick it in a, um, a, a small bedroom or a small room somewhere or in your workshop. It won't take up lots of space. It's also very light and portable so it can be used equally um, easily by either men or women. It's also very, very competitively priced. You can pick this up between sort of 50 and 60 pounds. 
and this is another tool which I, will, I wish I'd have purchased many years ago because it would have saved me so much time, so much effort, so much effort, and it would have enabled me to complete the projects which I've done um, to a much higher standard because I can do the cuts, mitis bevels far more accurately. So this is absolutely perfect. Now, number four, um, this was a little bit of a tricky one again, and I've decided to include a sander. In fact, this is what you call a detail sander. This particular one is called a mouse, and it's made by Black & Decker. And I've had this particular one for about four years, and I've absolutely hammered it. It's done absolutely everything. And um, I bought the this particular model, which comes with a number of accessories, cost me about 20 quid, bought it from Amazon about four years ago. And as I say, I've absolutely used and abused this and I wouldn't be without one of these. This, something like this has got to be a staple of everybody's, every keen DIYers um, toolbox. You know, you just can't do without this. And in the next few clips I'm about to show you, I mean, for example, here, I'm working on a picture rail in one of the properties I've done up. Um, it's absolutely brilliant for taking off paint and varnish on door frames, architraves, skirting boards. Absolutely superb. So here I'm actually renovating um, a door. In fact, I did two or three doors. Um, these were covered in paint and varnish and this made very light work indeed of a, a rather tedious, rather arduous job. Um, I've also used these on several occasions for putting a decent key on silk paint before I've papered over. And I've also even used it in my tiling projects for taking off rough edges on tiles. Now, fifth place. Um, I'm gonna give this to the jigsaw. Now this is a Bosch jigsaw. I've had this once again. Well, I've actually had this one also for about four years. Um, I've used this mainly for cutting up large sheets of plywood, MDF, that sort of stuff. And the reason this um, is so, is high on my list is because it's so versatile. It's very portable. Um, it's really easy to use and it can do a very good job indeed. I think one of the things I stress about these is the fact that you need decent blades. If you put crap blades in, you're not going to get a decent quality finish on the jobs you do. But, um, you know, I've used this for so many things and I wouldn't be without my jigsaw. Now, before we go, I just want to mention one other power tool which we shouldn't take for granted. And yes, you've guessed it. It's a human brain. It's that power tool between our ears. And as keen DIYers and handy men and handy women, it's important that we're able to solve problems and come up with solutions. We also need to be able to improvise, to modify, to adapt. We need to be creative and to utilize those tools at our disposal, to repair stuff when it goes wrong, um, to make things, and also to enhance the quality of our lives and of our families and utilising our brain effectively could be the difference between sitting in a cold, damp cave, picking your toenails, or making items of considerable beauty. Thank you for watching.